guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a barn tour for march 2020 oops 2021 <laughs> so i know i did one of these videos very recently um however my barn has changed quite a lot since that video so i thought i would give you a bit of a tour of how it is now and it also has been very recommended on instagram so thank you guys for responding to that so i just thought i'd make another video um uh, just another tour because um i'm not going to be posting for quite a while uh very soon like once this video has been uploaded it might be quite a long time until i upload another video only sort of a couple of weeks or so but the thing is like i've got a big series to start filming and i want to kind of kick start that but this is nothing to do with that so i just thought i'd make this video just to kind of break up the um annoyingness of not posting for a while <laughs> so yeah if that made sense then let's continue and start with the barn tour let's get started okay guys so today we're going to be starting in this big stallions field i will give you a quick overview of that quickly So that was the overview. I hope you enjoyed it. So to this paddock there are two gates. There is this one. Take a minute to have a look at it. And there is this one. Again, take a minute to have a look at it. <laughs> now that you've had the time to have a look at it, let's go into them. And bam, just like that, we have an open gate. So let's go in it. Okay, so we are now into the field. I thought I would start over here where we have a little clam of riding school ponies. So we have Danny here and he is a trackner gelding. Um, I believe, yes, he is. Uh, and this is Jack, my Welsh pony stallion. I love Jack. He is so cute. The camera's going to focus. I must say this lighting looks very nice. Down the back here we have Ace and he is a Halflinger Stallion. And here we have Banksy who is a Trackner Stallion as well. I meant as well as Danny, not as well as Ace because Ace is a Halflinger. He's a Gelding, he's a Stallion. I kind of put the Geldings in with them because I find it looks quite nice. Okay, so this is kind of the field sheltery bit of the field. So it's kind of, it's a stable block, but I like to put the horses in like it can be, the both doors can be opened and can be used as a field shelter or it can just be used as stables, which it's being used as now. So in the first stall, we have um, Camelot. He is a Pintabian stallion and he's the special Pintabian stallion. And in the second stall, we have my American Saddlebred Gelding Whisper. There we go. Now over here, we have a little group that are currently having a bit of a run. So this is Uther, and he is a Andalusian Stallion. This is Ziggy, who is a Mustang. Black Beauty, who is a Paso Fino Stallion. Another Mustang here, Wildfire. This is champion who is a quarter horse and finally we have drew who is another quarter horse okay so now we've done those horses and this area of the field we have this little uh feeding bucket thingy uh with some hay in some greenery and i think there's, there's some carrots in there i don't know if you can see the carrots though and some hay so that's by right by the gate or oh, one of the gates just thought i'd mention this is the other gate and this is the second gate so next to this gate which is closest like the one that m most people use because it's closest to the barns uh there is a water trough here so this is the big water trough for the stallions feel let's pop that back there over here we have a little group that are currently having a little chat wonder what they're talking about this is Majesty, a Frisian Stallion. Blaze, a Hanoverian Gelding. Fred, a Hanoverian, not Hanoverian, Clydesdale Gelding. And he's got his lovely uh, little head collar on here, 
which I made the other day. I'm quite happy with it. If you'd like a tutorial on this, then let me know. Um, it's not the best, but it's it's okay. It took, didn't take me that long, so I guess it's kind of cute. And it does come on and off by those buckles. Next, we have Murphy, who is a Clydesdale. Lego, who is a Tennessee Walking Gelding. He's the special Tennessee Walker Gelding. The new Hanoverian Gelding, Josh. Chunk, the retired uh, Ardennes Stallion. Malteser, the very old retired Appaloosa Gelding. Casper, the Hanoverian Gelding. Max, the Hanoverian Stallion. Nero, the original Tennessee Walker Gelding. And finally, this is Jupiter, and he is the other Hanoverian Gelding. No, Stallion, sorry. <laughs> Behind them we have Fury, and he is a Papo horse, and he's he's just, he's not schleich, like I said, but he's just a copy brand. But I like him quite a lot, he's quite nice. I quite like his rearing position. He looks quite nice from down here. And behind him, trying to show off his moves, we have Little Nutmeg, and he is the Shetland Stallion. This guy here is Rocco, and he is the Welsh Pony. That was a fail. <laughs> um, this is Shortcake, and he is the uh, Icelandic Stallion. This is Chick, and he is a Pintavian Stallion. This over here is Vallegro, and he is another, I think he's Mojo, I'm not sure, but he's a retired boy, and I quite like him, he's not too bad. This is Golden Graham, and he is a Akultecki Stallion. This is Rio, and he is a Quarter Horse Gelding. And finally, the last horse in this paddock, we have Cinnamon, and he is another Quarter Horse Gelding, and I love him, he's so nice. Next to the stallions field, we have the mare's field. So this is the mare and foal field. So over here we have a little group of horses that currently go for a walk. So this is Cora, she's a Hanoverian mare. This is an unnamed black forest mare who is very new to my collection, but I don't yet have a name. So let me know any name suggestions that you have for her. Violet, the Arabian mare. This is Chica Linda, or Chica, the English thoroughbred mare. Also, in the background of that clip, you may have noticed some horses fallen over. So let's fix that. That's better. <laughs> now they're all standing up and looking beautiful. This is Sterling, and she is a Trachna mare. Princess, the um, Lipizzana mare. Coral Miss, the other English thoroughbred mare. Mystic, the Holsteiner mare. And that's it for the group that are going for a walk. Down here we have Grumpy Morgana, who's being led in from the field by Paul. Uh, so she's got her lovely matchy head collar on. Well, she doesn't look very matchy now. <laughs> she's not got on her saddle pad and riding gear yet. But when she does, she looks very matchy, trust me. So yeah, she's being led in from the field because she's, I think she's upsetting some of the, um, some of the other mares in the field. <laughs> Over here, this is Sprite and she is the, uh, retired Morgan mare. And she's just going through a hoop right now. <laughs> Looks quite fun. Over here, by the gate, we have Mara, the Welsh pony mare, who's currently walking over to the gate. And standing right by the gate, we have Misty, who is the Icelandic mare. She's very pretty. Over here, we have a little um, pair of horses. So this is Moana. She is the special Tennessee Walker mare. And this is Pearl, who is the retired Appaloosa mare. She's got a lovely head collar on that I made when I made Fred's head collar. If you would like to see a tutorial on how to make this head collar, then let me know in the comments down below. She looks gorgeous there. Down here, right by the caravan, we have two little foals. The one on the left here is Bruno, and the one on the right is Toby. Aside from them, though, we have 
a group of foals that are currently going for a little walk around the field. This is Boots, a Tennessee walker foal. This is Snowball, the Icelandic. And finally, at the back here, we have um, Pumpkin, who is a quarter horse foal. That's it, got there in the end. <laughs> Over here we have another group that are having a little chat. This is Molly and she is my biggest Schleich horse ever and she is called, well she's called Molly as I just said and she's a Shire mare. Sorry the footage cut off there. Anyway I wasn't going to say anything important I was just going to say there we go. But anyway this is the Pura Raza mare and she is Lady. This is Dixie and she's a Trachna mare. This is Tiffin. Oops. <laughs> there we go. As I was saying, this is Tiffin and she is a Mustang mare. This is Millie and she is a special Tinker mare. This is Emily, she's a Lusitano. Same with her sister here, except she's a special edition version and she is called Caramel. And finally, we have Luna here who is at the back of the herd. And that's it for the mare's field. Let's move on with the tour. So out the front of the mare's field, we have the little car parking lot, I guess. So in the back of this track, we have lots of saddle pads. So we've got a navy one. We've got a lime green one. We have two white ones and we have an orange one. So that's the pile of saddle pads. We've got a little trophy in the back. We've got a horse water feeder and we've got two little jump flags. This is the second van, so this is, oh it's very messy in there. <laughs> this is the vet track, so it has got all of the equipment in there. I mean it's not very organised, but it has got all of the equipment. Oh look, you can see the horses through the window. That's very cute. <laughs> And the final thing in the parking lot, we have this horse trailer truck thing, which is quite nice. I like this. Over here, we have a little group of, well, one person, one horse and three dogs. <laughs> the horse here is Dakota and he's being tacked up by Anna, who is tacking him up Western right now. And she's about to put on his bridle. Well, that's why his head collar's around his neck. And for some reason, all the dogs decided to crowd around her. <laughs> Maybe because there's a sausage there. But who knows, might be because she's putting a bridle on his, her horse. I think we all know the obvious why, reason why they came over. <laughs> this is Chip. This is Roxy. And this is Macy. So that's them. And I think, um, well, Misty just kind of stuck her head over, which is very entertaining, I guess. <laughs> Moving on, we have the first barn here. So this is the show barn. So it's where all the privately owned horses are kept. So I'm gonna do this barn, then I'm gonna do the fields over there. Out the front, we have some jump storage and a little Maine Coon cat here. And also three uh, barrel racing barrels. <laughs> if you come into the barn, you may notice Cora and she is, that's not her name. Right, instead of you may notice Cora, you will notice Sapphire. Sapphire is the Frisian mare. Cora is not the Frisian mare. <laughs> I've already done her. She's already had her special vid part in the video. Sorry, mate, but you're going to have to go back in your field. There we go. Anyway, like I said, Cora... Oh my goodness. Right, like I said, Sapphire, the Frisian mare, is being led into the barn by Ollie, and he's just, I don't know where he's leading her. He's leading her somewhere. <laughs> he's leading her into the barn, I guess. And you may be wondering what this new flooring is. I got this in one of my um, local food shops. They were selling it on sale, so I thought I'd get it. It's just like a sticky film. I think it's meant to be wallpaper, but I cut it to fit into this barn and a few other of my things that you'll see later in this video. And, you know, it's not perfect, but I think it works. It works really well. Okay, so moving on, we have on the left here, we have Jam, 
He's currently being very inquisitive, looking out at Sapphire. I got it right that time. <laughs> so yeah, she's an Andalusian and her little foal here is Dusty. Across from them, we have Cookie and she is the Andalusian. Uh, Andalusian mare. Oh my gosh, I just realised I put the retired Andalusian and the new Andalusians together on the same row. That's so funny. I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> Outside of her stall, she has uh, a bucket of feed and some apples and lettuce. <laughs> Pretty strange, but it works. So over here in the next stall opposite Jam, we have um, Pinto and he is a pinto stallion <laughs> this is mint and he is a quarter horse stallion and he's the special quarter horse pancake and he is the other quarter horse he's the and i think he's another special edition horse to be honest and i forgot to mention in all of the stalls they have a feeder and a water drink so outside of pinto's stall he has an empty box and then in between the alleyway, we have three trophies on this side and three trophies on that side. Some mucking out tools over there that seem to be knocked over. And a bucket of poo. That's lovely. <laughs> Down the back here, we have head collar racks. So, yeah, like I was saying, these are the head collar racks. There's one on this side and one on that side. So, uh, yeah, they are for the ponies. So I didn't keep them in the tack room just because they look a lot neater in here. So on the opposite side of the barn, we have Mickey, who's a quarter horse. Florence, who looks very grumpy in her stable there. She's got a bum to the stable door. And in the next stable, we have uh, an unnamed horse who I actually got about four months ago, but I still haven't named, which is <laughs> kind of a disgrace. But anyway, uh, there's quite a few people in his stall because I think he's gone lame, but they're giving him a bit of a checkup. So Laura, the owner of the barn, is helping um, check, <laughs> just keep him steady, I guess, make sure he doesn't move whilst um, somebody's sitting on the floor there. So down the bottom, we have Julie, and she was putting on a bandage, which has just disappeared somewhere. I think it might have gone to the tack room, but anyway, she's putting on an imaginary, ba uh, bleh, imaginary bandage. There we go. And here is Abby, and I think she's, um, she's checking his heartbeat. Well, however, I'm pretty sure his heart's around there. You got the wrong spot there, Abby. <laughs> and down there we have a little vet box. So this barn is kind of a connected barn. So we've got the main... Camera's not focusing. Focus. There you go. We've got the main barn bit here. And then to the side we have kind of... I guess they're the field shelters, but they are stables. So they lead out to the fields. Anyway, let's just get on with it. This is Marigold. She's an Andalusian. Over here we have Mario. And he is a German riding pony. In his stall we have Harry, Henry and Hugo. Now these guys don't all own this horse, however they do live on site. So they're kind of just, they one um, Hugo, which we're, whichever one's Hugo, owns, <laughs> I think it was Harry Henry, I think this is Hugo. And I'm planning on repainting one of these guys if you're wondering, because they are identical. But yeah, I think Hugo owns this pony, uh, but Jack has gone out in the field, so they're kind of all just clinging on to Mario right now. <laughs> in the next stall, we have Belle, who is a Hanoverian, and her foal sea star. And finally, in the back stall, we have Grumpy Clover, who is a quarter horse. So outside of this stable block, we have Mini Field. So this is the mini pony fields so here we have sienna this is sugar this is an unnamed custom that i did that i really need to give a name because i've i customed her like two years ago now this is tigu who i have named and they're both icelandics they look like they're having a bit of a chat with marigold here and then special edition in here we have a mare and foal who are just in the field with the ponies, I guess. I don't really know why, they just are. This is Little Wing, and this is Estrella, and she and they are both Arabians. In the field, back from them, we have the Stallion. 
This is Maximus, he's a Lipizzan stallion. This is Nelson, he's an Andalusian. And the other Andalusian here is Arthur. And the final horse in this field is Prince, and he is a Shire. Moving right across, we have this area, so it's opposite this barn. So if you're coming out of this barn, you would walk down here and go down this alleyway. And it would lead you to the indoor arena. However, before we go in there, I feel like we should talk about Misty. So Misty is a Connemara pony mare. And in the back here, driving the carriage is Lila, who is Misty's owner and best friend. And in the back, we have Pop, who is a Chihuahua puppy. That's short for popcorn. So if you go in that entrance, you get to the indoor arena, like I said. So it's the indoor show jumping arena. And honestly, this is my favourite arena. I absolutely love it. It's like perfect size for quite a few horses to ride in here. But it's also got a few accessories, which we will talk about soon. I know I said we'd talk about them soon, but I just can't wait. So here we have the pole stand. So it's like, it's like... It's lolly sticks. They're held up by lolly sticks. I can't, don't think you can really see. But it's like a pole stand and I really love this. It's so cool. Over this side, we have these little hooks for the um, filler jump thing. These are some tyres over here, which I guess you could use for jumps. Here we have some cones, some flag and some little jump blocks. In the corner we have this log jump thing. This big filler jump thing, um, it's kind of hanging off the off the wall. <laughs> this little jump for joy jump. This blue turquoisey jump. These cones in the corner. And yeah, I think that's it for all the accessories. Oh, and you can't forget about obviously all the jumps that are in the arena. So we've got these homemade jump stands here, this homemade pole, uh, and more poles and more jumps and more poles more poles and more jumps and more poles and more tires and jumps do you think that's enough for me saying more poles and more jumps yeah i think it is let's stop <laughs> so riding around the arena right now we have uh, lisa and her horse storm who is a hanoverian gelding behind them we have sarah who's riding mystery who's an arabian mare and behind them, we have Sophia, who's riding Blossom, who's an Andalusian mare. And really quite far behind them, we have Prue, who is riding Pongo, and he's a Nabstruck. Um, but she's missing a saddle. Well, she's riding bareback. <laughs> Over here, we have another bareback rider, and this is Hannah, who's the daughter of the owner of the barn, and she's just... Popping over a pole on Lola, who's a Clydesdale mare. This is John, who's riding his horse, Rockstar, who's a Hanoverian gelding. And they're jumping over this massive jump. Over here, we have Grumpy Glimmer, and she is a Lipizzana mare. Riding her is Lucky, and she's popping over a little pole. And finally, the last horse in this arena, we have Angel, who's a Tennessee walker mare i will add and her rider is sophie and she's just riding around i guess right so in front of the arena we have the house let's get started with the house so this is the house so there's no people in it however there is quite a few kitten cats dogs honestly i have to pause that little um interesting sentence just to talk about the dogs so unfortunately I don't have names for any of these dogs yet. I know it's quite bad, but I don't. So any name suggestions, again, let me know. Okay, continuing with the sentence. We have more cats. This is Humbug and he's just walking around on the roof of the roof of the house. And these are the three squirrels. We have Maple, Mabel, and Acorn. And finally a little Teddy who's just sitting on the uh, sitting on the bed. Okay, that's it for the house. Let's move on with the tour. Over here, we have this other barn. So let's go in. So again, we have the same flooring. In this stable, we have some miniature Shetland ponies. So this is Choco, this is 24, and this is Hetty. In the next stable, we have Muffin and Cupcake, and they're Appaloosas. And continu continu continuing with the Appaloosa trend, we have 
another mare and foal who I haven't named the foal or the mare yet so again let me know any name suggestions and finally in the back we have Delilah and Buttercup and they are quarter horses and Delilah's got a lovely little cosy blanket on she looks very warm in that rug so in this stall we have a yearling and a adopted foal and a girl so this is Mia and she lives here as well so she's just having a little pet or stroke she's stroking this little tiny foal jelly bean who is a fjord and up here we have pixie and she is a pura raza yearling and down the end here we have Padita, a zebra and spot they're all nab strappers excluding the zebra foal so this is kind of an odd design barn so it's like it's got 12 stalls but there's an entrance here and there's six stables this side and six stables that side we've done this side let's move on to that side so this is charlie and he is a tinker stallion opposite from him we have bobby who's a holsteiner next to bobby we have joey and he's a pinto next to joey we have romeo and he's an arabian and continuing the trend of Arabians, we have Aladdin, who's another Arabian. And finally, we have this unnamed repainted dude. Um, I don't really mind him, he's kind of cute. <laughs> he's just living his best life in there. So that's it for that barn. Outside of the barn, we have uh, a little block of stables and some people tacking up their horses. And we can't forget about the dogs and puppies. So in this first stall, we have Bailey, who's a trackner, uh, stallion, and next to him is his brother, and his name is Carrot. Down here we have the Tinkers, so this is me, um, and this is her for Cloudy. So down the end here we have the trackners, so this is Elsa and this is Ola. They came in the 2020 advent calendar, if you are wondering. So outside of their stables, we have the dogs, as I said. Uh, so this is Twister, this is Teddy, and this is Molly. So this boy here is Maui, and he is a Lusitano stallion. His owner, Jenny, here is just putting on some boots, by the looks of things. So I get asked quite a lot what this horse is from. So this boy is from the 2020 um, uh, horse show set. Uh, that came out in September uh, last year, so 2020. Um, so that's where he came from, and that is also where Luna came from. Anyway, let's put him back. Sorry, boy, you've got one boot on. <laughs> there we go, he is back in position. And behind him we have Stephanie, who's tacking up Milo, and he is the retired Morgan Stallion. So I think she's a little behind because she's got the grooming box out. She's not even started grooming him yet, but anyway. So that is that area. Down this alleyway here, if you keep going, you will reach a door. So this is the entrance to the tack and feed room. Should we go in it? I think we should. There we go, we are in the tack and feed room. So as you walk in, on your right, we have some keys, this makeup box, three vet boxes, the head collar rack, and then we've got some western saddles over this side, uh, some English, some eventing, dressage, riding school, general purpose, in hand tack, showing tack, that kind of thing. And then across here, we have um, like, I don't know, the feed and then in this basket we have some exciting items which I love <laughs> that's probably my favorite box because it looks so colorful so on this table here we have two laptops one that's open and the others closed now in the middle we have a saddle rack with a whip some cat food and milk and two more saddle racks down the back and I forgot to mention there is a vaulting saddle down there and some buckets in the corner shelf and also some treats. There's another head collar rack underneath the um, underneath the uh, what do you call this? The shelf. So as it's the tack and feed room, we have all of the pure feed and Silvermore haylage down here. Again, if you would like a craft or DIY on how to make these little feed bags, then I'd be more than happy 
to do one. These didn't take long to make at all. So yeah, if you'd like one of them, then let me know. So that's the feed bags. We also have some Schleich feed bags, feed bags, feed ba Schleich feed bags over here. There we go. And up here we have some hay. So you've got the Schleich hay and then my homemade hay. So I think that's the tack room. I think we finished the tack room. We've just got this flooring that I thought I'd mention, which is the same as the barn flooring. So that's the flooring, and I think that's it for this tack room. Let's move on with the tour. So this is the second yard area. Well, not second yard area. The one of the whole yard. This is part of the yard. It's all part of one yard. So this is the outdoor arena, so this is where most of the riding lessons take place and that kind of thing in here. So the first horse that's riding around is Clover, and she's a quarter horse. Now, you may be thinking, hang on a minute, have I just changed round um, the, the horses? No, I haven't. This is a duplicate model. <laughs> yeah, I, I, <laughs> I've got quite a few... Well, I've got two of these and I've got two of another model that I haven't shown you yet. So that's her. And Leanna's riding her at the arena in her nice dressage tack. Continuing the quarter horse theme, we have uh, Ginger and she is a quarter horse mare and Stephanie's riding her. In the middle here we have Lord Crepello and he is a Trackner stallion. However, I kind of made him a gelding. Um, and this is one of the riding school girls riding him, Leah. Sorry, Mia. So down the back here we have uh, Crystal and she's a quarter horse again. And she's being ridden by her owner, Lizzie. Or kind of, it's kind of Lizzie or Abigail. I mean, I've got a duplicate of her, this rider. So it's kind of Lizzie or Abigail, one or the other. I think this one's Abigail though. I mean, can you tell? I'm not sure. Okay, so finally, down this end, we have Fudge, and she is a American saddlebred mare. And riding her is Annie, and she doesn't own her, but she's just kind of a riding school child who just rides horses, <laughs> I guess. We have a very interesting jump set up here. I mean, I quite like it, it's kind of cool. So that's it for the arena. So behind the arena, we kind of have some of the agility equipment, I guess. I don't really know. There's just a few bits bobs over there. So here we have this vet truck that's just parked up. Uh, I don't really know why, but it just is. So over here, we have some Western people who are going for a um, Western ride around the stables. So I think they're planning on heading to the arena. I'm not sure, though. So this mare is Noelle, and she's an Arabian. And riding her is Madison, and she's just she's just hacking out on her, I guess. And next to them, we have the retired Tennessee Walker Stallion, and his name is Chester. And he, as you may know from some of my series, I'm not sure if I included him or not, but he's a very spooky horse, so he's a bit scared of the animals in the corner there. <laughs> and riding him is Abby. So moving on from that little part, we have the barn. So this is one of the barns, and then I kind of attached this barn, which I'll talk about later. So in this first stall, we have Puzzle, and he is a Welsh kind of pony. I know he's a custom that I did, so I didn't. I don't think he turned out too bad. And in his stall with him, because um, Puzzle is a pony, he deserves a little friend, so he's got a little peach in there with him and he is a Shetland. I love Peach, he's so cute. In the stall next to him we have Melanie, Harry and Lily. So they are all Hufflingers. Um, yeah, Melanie's just looking out the window here. And I forgot to mention outside of their stall they have some flowers. Um, yeah, they just have flowers I guess. So in the middle of the barn, we have this mare, and her name is Betty, and she's just standing in the middle of the barn, I guess. She's a German riding pony mare, and riding her is Flory. So yeah, I think she's about to head to the arena. Gosh, the arena's going to be busy. <laughs> so that is her. Down this end of the barn, we have Winnie and Pooh, and they're paint horses. 
And in the last stall, finally, we have Monty and he's a Black Forest Stallion. So heading on into this barn then, we have four stables, two on this side and two on this side. So in this stall, we have my retired Arabian mare and foal. So the mare's name is Cinderella and the foal's name is Harry. And next to them, we have Beauty and she's a Hanoverian mare. And down the end here, this girl is, these are both Hanoverians. So this is Blue and this is my other duplicate mare and her name is Belle, but she's kind of a duplicate, so I don't really have a name for her. And in the roof kind of part, or the upstairs level, we have a sofa, some tables, Sarah's skirt, uh, just picnic blanket, picnic stuff. Yeah, so that's there. So whilst I was looking uh, back at the footage that I've taken, I've realised that I missed a few bits from uh, this part of the barn. So I'm just going to go through them now quickly. So down here we have Spice and Rolo and they're escaping out of their paddock. In the house balcony we have Stacy, and she's just adjusting her stirrup length on Sparkles, the Frisian mare. And yeah, there's a little calf in there with them. And there's also a hose pipe here. And finally, since filming the last clip, I actually got some new trotting poles for the arena. So if you're wondering what I use for my trotting poles, these are actually paper straws. I cut them in half um, so that they make perfect size little trotting poles for the horses. And I got, I got eight so actual straws. But if you cut them in half, it made 16, which is lovely. They look really nice as the green in a row. So that's everything. I really hope you enjoyed this barn tour and found it inspirational or just entertaining. If you did, please give it a like and smash that subscribe button so you get a notification every time I post. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!